G'day, g'day guys, it is I, Bucket Shaved Cat, here to bring a tutorial. So, uh, the tutorial is how, how to use controller on Rust, it's very straight simple. So, first thing you want to do is just come over to here, um, yeah, go, go, on, go on to your Steam homepage, then go over here, click on that little gear icon, and then click on properties. Once you're on properties, go down to controller, and enable Steam input. What this will do is it will basically just enable your controller to actually work. So make sure your controller is connected to your computer first. That's handy. Uh, it can be over USB and I think wireless. That can that can also work with Bluetooth and stuff. And then come over to here, go to controller layout. You'll get some like tutorial thing that you go through and just yeah ignore all that. And then just when you're here, go le edit layout. So this will look a bit different, like stuff will be different, but w these settings I've already made and I think they work quite a bit. Some I just don't use, like the chat feature, I don't think I'll... The way to add more commands is really easy, you just go click on a gear and then click on add extra command and then you select whatever and it should pop up there. If you want to delete it, just do that and then remove command. Uh, yeah, and that should just delete, delete extra command, there we go, that deletes it. Be able to get that to work. So, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it on the screen for a bit, and just sh show, show whatever, yeah, stuff is. Yeah, for, for why I didn't bother, I'll, you can, for hover loot, you can just, do why I did it as uh, whereabouts is it bumpers I did it for uh, the left bumper you might just drag over loop yeah it does that and then d-pad it's pretty straightforward their Q key that opens up the inventory uh, yeah and then G that opens up the map M yeah I don't know what I tried doing then I've left this out as one that's yeah they were originally all one two three but yeah I I don't see bother using that because you already use the bumpers for not navigating around the uh, inventory triggers pretty straightforward it's just the shoot left aim yeah whatever when, when you when you're like um, when you're using the building plan it helps it, it uses just normal it's Left is to get the menu up, and right is just, yeah, do it. Joysticks, it gets a little bit weird. Disregard the right click. I was just tampering around with them. I much, it, it's, it's personally just your preference. You can either have uh, the right click, uh, the right Joy-Con, that can, yeah, be your shift down. But for me, I also did the left, that shifts down. So they both do shift. It's it's weird the shifting mechanic. I've tried doing it so it toggles, but I haven't got that to work yet. And that's that's basically all of them. Uh, yeah, and I'll show you in the game. Uh, before you load into a game, just make sure it works. In the bottom left, it should say like uh, controller config enabled. With your with your uh, right stick, you should be able to move the thing around uh to, to get into a game if you if you if you don't have a keyboard on you then uh just do that uh you use the left i mean the right trigger and just select what one you want to go into um yeah use the right joystick to just navigate now that i've gotten into the game uh you, you your key buttons should be working uh you're able to jump, just look around, bring up the map. To bring up the map, sadly, you have to still, yeah, hold on, wait. No, no you don't, you can use the bumpers. I just worked that out, holy, that is sick. And then, yeah, because I'm in a safe zone, I can't actually use my tools right now, but I'll go out right now. Now at a safe zone, you should be able to use all your tools normally, just you're able to work them, just that you probably wouldn't normal uh rust uh yeah go farm a tree real quick 
the sensitivity can be a bit whack at times so to turn that down you just go to your settings I'm, I'm just using keyboard and mouse for this and tamper with this it can be yeah it can change depending on how fast you like how fast you don't with this with the mouse I don't know how to change it it is kind of annoying when you're just trying to maneuver for stuff and you actually go too far and then yeah the whole mouse is on the other side of the screen anyway uh yeah that's that's the tutorial and uh yeah hope hope this helps people and yeah uh have a good rest of your day guys see ya